Before the video starts, I want to show you guys an awesome new app for all the eSport fans. The app is called Upcomer. It will help you guys to be updated with all the two matches and events in real time. With the app, you can follow your favorite teams and players, get casual and matches notifications so you never miss any match, find brackets and standings, and get real stats for the matches. I use the app myself and I really recommend you guys to use it. Check the video description to download Upcomer and it's free for both Android users and iOS. Hello guys, my name is Mark and welcome to Friday with Mark. So, uh, this show is pretty simple. It's every Friday and Wednesday you guys will ask the questions and I will answer them. Uh, you can ask private questions, you can ask whatever you want and I will just answer all of them or most of them uh, because I want to make the show is kind of short. So, I will try my best to be fast with the answers and yeah. So, the first question from Mr. Snail. What's your nationality? Because I love your accent. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you, Mr. Snail. Uh, I want to like keep it private because uh, I just want to make maybe a vlog about it. Like when I reach 100k sub, I know that's a lot, but uh, I'm I'm reaching there. I'm slowly, but whatever. Uh, the fat, the phenom. Uh, how the hell do I lane if there's a continued harassment by range heroes uh, and I'm melee? Agro didn't do much. Uh, if you are playing like uh, in the off lane, uh, the simple trick is to just go to the enemy uh, between tier one and tier two, and just try to you know pull the creep and just walk like a moron and TP to your lane. That will delay the enemy creeps, or you creeps will die to the enemy, and his lane or their lane will push, and it's gonna be like super hard to you know from them to fix the lanes. That's how you do it. If you are playing in the safe lane, you can do a single pull. The next question from Ian Pakira. Well, that sounds like an enemy name. Uh, how did you become such a good player? Please share your journey, share problems you face as well. This will help us to learn. Uh, my friend taught me how to play Dota. His name is Fed. So he's like a 3K player. He taught me how to play. He That was like when they released Dota 2. So he did everything. He honestly helped me a lot. He, uh, he said, play with one here because if you want to like learn and get better play with only one here so yeah i started with mirana i know she's not the greatest but i made her great i was spamming the shit out of her in the mid lane and off lane so that was my first hero i played her for 300 game then i start switching to other heroes i know you will say eh, where's the fun well i had my fun with mirana <laughs> like I, lo I love her she's my favorite hero by the way like i always loved to play with only like three heroes mirana was one of them so that was like my first time then I stopped watching pro players like I watched uh, when 6k was a thing before like when Dendi was like big thing and shit like that so I stopped watching them and uh, there's two things that helped me watching Purge I'm not even kidding Purge was a good uh, good player he's not like great but he's 5k he's decent I'm 5k or 6k I'm decent so it's not like great players or something like that but I got a lot of them. He taught me a lot of things watching his YouTube and stuff like that would actually help you. So uh, yeah, I did that. And even I stopped watching pro players. So I stopped watching like D and so many other pro players and I spectate them. I'd be like, what he's doing exactly? Is he pushing? Why he's pushing? And I start analyzing his games. So if you do that, I, I even watch the games like more than five times so I can understand how he plays. Then I try to copy most of what he's saying. I even have had a note so where I can just put a note and say like uh, uh, he's pushing the lane whenever like they are trying, you know, to put the gank on the lanes. So I start to doing that and yeah, that helped me. The next question from Aditya Basak. What's wrong with your names guys? I don't understand. How to make sure enemy doesn't snowball in the game. Easy, don't feed. Uh, the next question from Antimish. Hey, Max, support from NP. NP. Ninja in pajamas? <laughs> you serious? Uh, here are my questions. Now, if your lane is completely dominated by the opponent, uh, how to recover? So it's really easy. Sometimes you need like another hero, like ask your mid laner to gank because you need three heroes to kill because two heroes are not gonna help because you are playing like with the off lane or uh, with the support and you lost your lane. So you need someone else to help you in the lane 
to at least kill the enemy and try to you know push the lane use that use that time to farm because you don't need to you know have that cube equilibrium also uh jungling is something that you need to consider don't be like oh my support and shit like that no no, no. always try to jungle because that's the best thing that you can do also what is the uh, basic uh, items to win uh to win your off lane or strong off lane mm. There's no basic items, most of them like South Shield or, or a lot of Tangos or some people love to go for that regions because they are like, they can survive, like for example like uh, the Underlord, he can survive for that. Uh, other heroes, they like some, some people like to buy, you know, boots first. So it's really hard to say what items because it depends on the hero. The next question from Thin Fam, how do you, uh, how do you attempt to gank mid lane? Ely with low support like CM, Shadow Shaman. I usually had to play position 5 and it's hard to gank your opponent because you know they change the towers and stuff like that. Uh, so it's really easy. Uh, let the enemy push the lane so you know you can gank them. That's something that you can you should consider. And also diving behind the tower, you can do that with you know another hero. So you can always consider doing that. And also midnight time is the best time for you to gank. Make sure that you are smoke. Uh, make sure if you if you see the enemy are reacting to you, you know if if you're not smoke and you see the enemy reacting to you, that means there's a ward. That's a, one of the best sign for you to be like, oh, I need to do all that. So yeah, that's really simple. So try to even gank from another uh, another another place because they don't have they won't have like two mid lane wards to you know to help the mid lane. No, they, there must be only one ward. So you can you know go from the other side if you want without smoke. The next question from Nat. Uh, hey Matt, what can I do when I playing carry against a strong offlaner while my support is not helping me? He tried to gank and bully the enemy carry and it doesn't go as well. Um, let's say if you are playing anti against Axel. The first thing, you don't, you don't pick a hero that will counter the carry and will counter the enemy mid laner. But it won't, you know. You won't, it won't counter the enemy offlaner. Like for example, if I'm gonna play against fucking Axe, I will make sure if I either pick a fucking range hero or I will just go for Ursa. Because Ursa is a fucking beast. Like I don't care about Axe, I will just whoop his ass. So you need to always consider the heroes that you wanna play lane with. Uh, that's why I recommend you a lot of players to play with Clinks. I played Clinks in even 6k MMR and I sold one. So the hero is great. Don't say it in low bracket. No, I played him in low bracket, in high, in mid bracket, and in high bracket. He's working fine. He, he's a beast in safe lane. You don't need that much help, even in the mid lane. The next question from Creeps Cot. Uh, good lane and leg. Uh, good lane and leg game versus Tinker. Hmm. Uh, and OD. Uh, how to deal? When you, it's really hard to deal with Tinker and OD in the uh, in mid lane. Uh, yeah, you can deal with OD, but not Tinker. It's really hard to deal with Tinker. Like, uh, he's one of the mo uh, the worst heroes that you can ever play against because he can, you know, adapt to whatever hero you are picking, like against Viper or whatever. He can even max motion machine and laser only. So it's really hard to, you know, lane against uh, against Tinker, but against OD, you can lane against him. In late game, usually I would like to always initiate on either Tinker or OD so I can, you know, start the fight because those heroes, are re they rely on BKBs because if I don't have BKB and the 5 seconds duration rain out, uh, they will just kill me. It's really easy for them. That's why I always focus on killing the most uh, heroes that will affect me, such as OD and Tinker. Uh, the next question from Rama Rambo. Uh, hey Merrick, uh, how did you learn to be used uh, at micro in heroes like Visage, Lycan, Laundrid? Did you spam them or anything? Uh, the first thing I start playing them against bots so I can get used to it. Like I spammed the shit out of laundry uh, against bots. Then I start playing the hero. I start playing him in low bracket MMR so I see if it's really good. Uh, I'm good with him or not. Even though like uh, I start microing because I'm playing Naga. Uh, that's the main reason for me to you know pick heroes that are, or it's really easy for me to micro a lot of heroes. Maybe I'm not not the, not not the great with uh, Meepo, but uh, with other heroes that have illusions, I'm really great with them. So I got used to that by playing against boss, then I start to play against, you know, uh, normal players and then I start to play in my bracket and I kind of played well with Laundrude or, you know, this is not, it's not the hero that I'm picking a lot because I rarely pick him but I'm definitely good with Lycan and Laundrude because uh, it's not hard to micro them, it's not that, m that much micro win. So you need to not panic and try to, you know, uh, uh, try to spam the shit out of them so you can get used to it. The next question from Mohid Ayman. 
Uh, share, share with us some tips and tricks on hidden mechanics in Dota 2. There's no hidden mechanics, everything is out there, man. You can check whatever platform, you can check my videos, other guys. Uh, the mechanics are straightforward. Uh, there's nothing like to be hidden. The next question from Neil Lewis. Torres, oh nice, uh, actually a Spanish guy. Hey Merrick, um, actually Legend 3 middle. I wish from Legend 2 to 3 uh, by just playing support. Shall I continue the role? Or, you know, because sometimes my team has bad lineup or a, a, a bad carry. I mean, it's okay to be a support role to reach an ancient. Yes, it's definitely okay, but for me, I would always recommend to play offlane because offlane is the most effective role to reach a high, very high MMR. See the offlane or mid lane. Yeah, support, you can't win without a support. But, uh, those here are really like gonna affect the game. It's either mid lane, off lane, or, or Rome. Those are the most popular heroes that you can, you know, boost your MMR with. The next question from DJ Rima How to do drafts with beginning uh, players in CM mode? Uh, the first thing you need to think of what heroes are all comfortable with. You need to ban the heroes that you are playing against. Like, I'm playing uh, Tinker. I will hate to play against Zeus and playing against a Clockwork, Nice Soccer, Kotal and even uh what well, od or whatever so those heroes that have a catch up uh, i don't like to play against them even bar so i will ban just those heroes i will ask my team what they are comfortable with so i can pick them and play around your picks even check the meta so you can be like oh maybe i should not pick this here because he's out of meta and shit like that so you should consider that uh the next question from uma uh how can i be calm and never get tilt like you <laughs> man uh, there's no secret. I, I get tilted, but I don't use the mic. Like, I try my best to, you know, not be tilted and try to have fun because sometimes I get tilted. Like, I played with this prophet who's out of mana for like 10 minutes. I couldn't gank her lane because she have no mana, she, ha she has no, uh, like, spirit siphon, and I couldn't do much against a fucking OD. Oh, actually, DK. So yes, I hear that we need a lot of magic heal damage to kill him because it's really hard to kill a DK in the mid lane. So you need at least three heroes. We did kill him, but I had to buy clarities for that fucking guy. So sometimes uh, you will rage, but uh, try to not use your you know your mic because if you use it, that's it's not gonna help you to win the game at all. Uh, Artesia or Miracle? Well. I love both. Artesia, I love him because he's baby rage. He's a good player, but he's baby rage a lot. Uh, and I like Miracle. He used to baby rage as well, but uh, yeah, he fixed it. Uh, the next question from Lian. How to improve map awareness? I made a guide for that, so you can check it. The next question from Kay. Uh, can you tell us uh, that your PC specs? Uh, it's Ryzen uh, 600X, uh, 8 gigs RAM DDR4, uh, uh, GTX 7, uh, 770. Yeah, I know it's really old graphic card. I need to upgrade it, but I don't have money at all. So I'm really broke to upgrade it. And it's really hard for me even to record that much games or, you know, stream because the FPS will drop to like 50 or something like that. It's really hard to, you know, stream with this shit. So yeah, I'm suffering with this kind of smacks, but uh, um, I need only to swap my G my GTX. The next question from Ra is it Raul or uh, whatever? Uh, how to push high ground uh, in 2k brackets when we wipe enemy team and you know uh, they are back in farm. This it happens even in 4k or 5k. You can you can scream in your mic. Davaya blood, go push, push blood, suka blood, push, push, boo boo, push. You just say that they will. Trust me. The next question from Omega saw. Uh, where are you from, Merrick, and how old are you? I'm um, 27 years old, and uh, I can't tell you where I'm from because that's kind of answering the nationality question that, you know, I refuse to answer. I will tell you guys when I reach 100 sub, 100k. So maybe help me with that, you would know. So that's it for today. Thank you guys for asking. Uh, I'm sorry for not, you know, answering most of the questions because most of them are, you know, it's really hard to answer them or it will take like at least four minutes explaining and there's a lot of guys that I made or any other players they made so they can find the answers. So if you like this kind of series or show, let me know guys and uh, yeah, I will try to make more every Friday and you can ask the question on Wednesday and the most liked questions are going to be, you know, the questions that I need to answer first. So yes, that's what I'm going to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed the series. Uh, if you do, please uh, like, subscribe to support me so I can know that you like the series so I can make more. So yes, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.